Welcome to the Rachel Varga Podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Varga, double board certified aesthetic nurse specialist since 2011 with over 20,000 rejuvenation procedures performed. I'm an international clinical trainer for other physicians and nurses as well, celebrity skin expert, having been featured on some of the world's top proactive aging podcasts and much, much more. Learn more at rachelvarga.ca and enjoy today's episode. Hello and welcome. My name is Rachel and in today's video, I am going to share with you a few things you need to be doing to get your skin ready for fall. And this is going to be applicable to the youngsters and also my mature, my more mature audience and clientele. What do we need to do to get our skin ready for fall? As we transition from the summer to the fall months, we go towards being more indoors, which can lead to things like more dryness inside, more inner indoor heating, which can be very drying to the skin. Also the leaves are falling and there are some things like mold and other things that get released into the air. And so there can be sometimes higher rates of things like dermatitis and irritation on the skin with the changes of season. So I started to observe that every season sometimes there can be an uptick of irritation in my clients and I've studied this in my clients since 2011 and you start to pay attention when you work with so many people over so many years you start to notice common trends or what we call in the scientific community and as a researcher signals and the signal I was starting to see was just at every change of season a little bit of an uptick of things like acne things like hyperpigmentation and also for things like redness, sensitivity, and irritation. So some of the key things that you can start to do now to get your skin ready for this next seasonal change is to, number one, take my seasonal skin camps, and fall skin camp is beginning very soon, where you can catch my tutorials and all of that. But for free stuff that you can start to do now, I'd love for you to maybe update your five basic skincare products. And if you're not really sure about what that looks like, I have a free guide. It's my sophisticated skin cheat sheet. It's my skin care checklist which you can get in the description of this episode it's totally free and I even have a number of my clients that have been working with me for a few years continue to refer back to that guide but essentially in order to mitigate irritation with the changes of season and humidity and temperature changes cleanse the skin morning and night with the double cleanse in the evening don't forget to wash the face moisturize it the skin morning and night as well. I definitely am a fan of using an eye cream. And sometimes when we transition to the fall, we may want to update our moisturizer towards something that's a bit more hydrating. So for example, I'll recommend using a lighter moisturizer and then also having a heavier moisturizer on hand and your antioxidant serum with things like vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, to kind of boost your hydration just a bit more. And hyaluronic acid in the summer is great because it grabs the humidity from the air and it forms, it acts as a humectant on the skin and keeps hydration locked in. But in the winter and in the fall, we tend to need to not only continue with that, but then also maybe move and have on hand, move towards a richer moisturizer. So I can help you with that. Everything on my rachelvarga.ca e-store are pre-vetted products by me. If you have any questions about different products, just send me an email, info at rachelvarga.ca. Happy to provide some guidance that way. Cleanse morning and night, moisturize morning and night, sunscreen every single day. You may be thinking, but we're gonna be inside more. Why do we need to continue to use sunscreen? Well. What do you think is illuminating my face right now? I have these huge LED lights right now. LED and blue light, get this, reaches 100 nanometers deeper into the skin than what you get access to outside from the natural sunlight and the UVA and UVB that comes from that. So the blue light actually reaches deeper into the skin and creates more damage. Not to mention, I postulate, it's also leading to things like increased hair loss, especially with these overhead LED lights. So if you're interested in how you can utilize things in your home to enhance your skin and not age you faster, then you're definitely gonna wanna download my nine keys to slowing aging at rachelvarga.ca slash slow aging. And I'll give you some tips for optimizing your air, water, lighting, and electromagnetics in your home to reduce inflammation and slow your cellular aging 
and those five key skin types are also included in that guide. Next, exfoliate the skin, really important. What I personally notice on my skin is in the summer, I can kind of get away with maybe exfoliating a little bit less. But then with the changes, I kind of can notice a little bit more dryness, a little bit more roughness in the skin. So when I'm washing my face and I'm noticing that there is a little bit more dryness and roughness to the skin, what I'll do is I'll then use my polish or my scrub. And there are some nuances with scrubs, but that's kind of another topic or you can learn more in my free downloads. And then maybe what you wanna do to, up to, to make sure that you're following your five key basics for this upcoming change of season is to potentially even use an at-home mask or peel to help with hydration and exfoliation as well. Maybe once or twice a week, even overnight. Sometimes that can be a great option. So keep the skin stable. Follow those five key basics so that your skin can transition from summer to fall with a less likelihood of experiencing irritation. If you waver from cleansing morning and night, if you waver from sunscreen, if you waver from exfoliation, historically, I've noticed in my clients that waver from one of those, especially four key aspects, that's when they will experience irritation in the fall, dryness, redness, sensitive skin. A lot of times people are even told they have rosacea, but if they just focus on those key aspects, sometimes even within a couple of days to a couple of weeks, I got the photos to back this up, they start to see more glassiness, hydration, and that diffuse redness starting to fade. So of course, this isn't medical advice, this is educational information only. If you think you have a medical condition, you must seek the guidance of a licensed physician. But just don't be surprised if you have something presenting on your skin and you're kind of given this like blanket, broad, you have this, when really maybe just focus on those five key basics to start to set the stage for optimal skin cellular function. Imagine that, and of course, use the right products that are customized for your specific needs and are free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, artificial dyes, fragrances, and all of that stuff that just shouldn't belong in skincare, like rancid, toxic oils. Even not eating that stuff is really important. I just did a session for a lovely client yesterday and there was hydrogenated vegetable oil and, and, and you know, soybean oil and all these toxic oils that I would not even eat. So this could be the first time you're hearing about these things. The other component, if you're wanting to get the best skin of your life and move into this change of season with a little bit more grace and ease is to really keep your inflammation down. So if you'd like to learn more about ways to reduce your inflammation, be sure to follow the Rachel Varga podcast on iTunes and Spotify. I do deep dives on this stuff a little bit more than I do here on YouTube, but be sure to subscribe, like, share this episode, comment down below with what some of the things are that you experience in your skin with the change of season. Do you experience that redness? Do you experience that little bit of uptick of skin sensitivities? Have you also noticed after the summer a little bit more melasma and hyperpigmentation? There are some wonderful ways that we can mitigate that moving forward in fall with different skin actives, with different skin rejuvenation laser options as well. So that's kind of another big, broad topic that we can expand on more in a future video in a one-on-one -on -one session on the podcast. And of course, learn my tutorials and really key updates to do in my upcoming fallskincamp.com. Have a great day. If you have any questions, email me directly, info at rachelvarga.ca and leave a comment down below with what you found interesting in today's session. I'll see you guys next time right here on the Rachel Varga YouTube channel.